we're here to meet sports physiologist David Sandler. He's an expert in extreme human movement and has studied the world's fastest people. How will Bob compare? To find out if Bob's superhuman, David will use accelerometers. Yeah, basically we have a couple different kinds of accelerometers that we're gonna place on Bob's hand. And so as Bob goes through the range of motion, we're gonna pick up the actual acceleration of his hand and be able to determine velocity from that. We have the ability to measure in thousands of a second, so uh, hopefully we can, we can catch what's right. happening. You know, the human eye can't keep up with anything no, like no. that. No, no way. No. Well, good reading. The data from the sensors will plot a graph based on the movement in Bob's muscles. I'm picking up a reading. Now, so. David will be able to measure exactly how long the entire motion of drawing and firing actually takes. All down to a thousandth of a second. Ready? And three, two, one, go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. So what's happening is your hand, when you do that pop, the max acceleration peak registers up here. And you reach nearly 10 G of acceleration with your hand. Okay, what that means uh, in normal language is uh, it's incredibly fast. So right G stands for the force of gravity on Earth. Fighter pilots are tested to withstand a maximum of nine Gs, but Bob's muscles for a fraction of a second are generating 10 Gs of force. But more incredibly, the results show that Bob can draw, cock, and fire his gun faster than the reaction time in the average human brain. Human, human reaction is around two tenths of a second. The whole, the actual action lasted less than a tenth of a second. No way. What's that comparable to? Well, I've actually measured rattlesnakes before, and uh, he is faster than a rattlesnake. Looks like around six hundredths of a second to make the actual uh, movement itself, which is remarkable. I mean, unbelievable speed. The speed of his movement has amazed the scientists, but now he's about to attempt the impossible. I'm gonna bring the gun up, fire two shots, one for each target as fast as I can. Bob wants to prove he has superhuman accuracy by hitting two targets faster than the blink of an eye. For these targets in one movement, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna bring the gun up, fire two shots, one for each target as fast as I can. Wow. And the gun must be cocked and fired for each shot. Yeah, so you gotta cock it, bang, cock it, aim yep, again, right. cock it, and bang. Yep. Well, Firing right. the gun once required incredible dexterity. To hit both of these targets at speed yeah. while aiming from the hip is a different ball game. That was absolutely incredible. That was amazing. That he just shot incredible. two bullets, and I heard one shot, and that was it. And look at the space in between each movement. It's barely even there. If you don't believe he fired two shots, take a look at the raw footage, frame by frame. There's one shot, then the other. That was phenomenal. Two shots, I only heard one. Did you hear another one? I only heard one shot. That is amazing. That is unbelievable. And even That's on amazing. this graph, the shots even look kind of like one. I've never seen anything like this. Two shots in under a tenth of a second. A remarkable feat of dexterity and hand-eye control. Uh, just incredible. He, he is superhuman. I mean, bottom line is uh, he exceeds what every other human on this planet can do. So, you know, by definition, that would make him superhuman.